Hey there, Fletch Maltings Overlanding here, and today I'm going to be talking about some new stuff that Rux has come out with. I'm going to be talking about this clear 70 liter Rux, which again, the 70 liter has been my go-to for a long time, so I'm really excited to check out the clear one. I'm also going to talk a little bit about the pocket on it, so they've got these adjustable pockets that you can attach pretty much on any side. Then I'm going to cover their small little cooler, waterproof cooler bag. And then they've got a larger waterproof cooler bag. So again, these are like if you're going to a sporting event, a ball game, things like that, a concert, uh, these things are really extremely high quality waterproof coolers that you can take with you. A big one and a small one. So I'm going to show you both of those. I'm going to show you the 70 liter clear tote and I'm going to show you the pocket thing. So I'm going to give you info on all that stuff. I'm going to kind of show you them in my hands. I'm going to set them all up. I'm going to show you how to use them. So if you're looking for info on any of these products, hopefully this video will be helpful for you. If you do find the video helpful, definitely click that like button and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when new videos drop. Do a couple videos every week. And again, there's tons of content here. If you're a camper, overlander, anything like that, I'd love to have you. But let's dive into all this new Rux gear so that I can show you these coolers and this new clear 70 liter tote. All right, guys, so we are going to start with the Rux smaller uh, waterproof cooler. So they call this thing the Cooler Cube. And as you can see, it's kind of cube shaped. Size wise, this is a five liter cooler. So just FYI, you're getting about five liters of space inside of this. And the way that this works is once you load it up with all your stuff, then you're gonna basically you run it like a wet bag. So you're gonna just kind of roll it down just like this. And then you're gonna connect these straps. And then that is what actually seals it up. It also kind of makes a handle so that you can carry it, um, but that makes it completely waterproof. So you don't have to worry about leaks or anything like that. It's actually gonna keep all the ice and water and stuff inside of it. It's also gonna keep stuff out. So if you were, you know, wakeboarding or at the beach or something like that, it's gonna keep your stuff all nice and protected, but it is just a nice, small size bag, but again, super high quality stuff. Um, another thing that I wanna point out here is you'll notice these little sort of molly looking things they do have a number of attachments and i'll put a link in the description down below to their website where you put other little attachments and stuff on it and it still remains waterproof the inside's waterproof but this design gives you the ability to strap stuff to the side to make it extremely well made and usable for just a number of different instances so now next we are going to talk about the much bigger 25 liter soft cooler so now this is going to be the thing you're going to take for the whole family when you go to the beach or the pool um, this does have you know some nice big stitched in handles on it it does have these attachment points here which you can use to again attach things like the pockets or things like that their system is all very modular so you can use this thing to attach just a number of things same with this sort of molly webbing on the side here so all these little molly spots you can use to attach stuff to it if you wanted to from a function standpoint this works very similar to the small bag so this does come with a shoulder strap and it has this kind of c-clip design that uh rux has pioneered that's really cool so basically what you do is you kind of squeeze this at the bottom you squeeze this at the bottom and then it allows you to to pull this little uh tab off and then what you can do is you know here on the side for instance in this molly webbing that i pointed out you can slide this thing through here pull that clip up and then basically that thing is locked onto there and you can use that as your shoulder strap, do the same thing on the other side. And then you've got this really nice, really well-made, comfortable shoulder strap that makes carrying this thing really easy because again, this is 25 liters. So this is five times bigger than the small cube. So you can put quite a bit of food and drinks and things like that on the inside of it. Functions again, the same as the other one where it's basically like a wet bag where you're gonna roll down your top here. So once you get that strapped at the top there, you know, you roll this down just like any other wet bag, then you attach your straps at the top. Then you've got basically just a much larger cube, right? And if this thing was full of stuff, it would be a little bit easier to show you, but just wanted to share this with you. And then you can also attach your shoulder strap and it's adjustable, right? So you can adjust this to the right length that you need it to be. And then again, makes carrying your stuff just super, super easy, but super high quality, really well-made waterproof cooler bag. 
All right, so next let's talk about the Rux Pocket. This is actually a really cool little modification that you can make to your Ruxes, especially these big 70 liter bags. As you can see, there's these little clips here that, that go into these rails. So again, you can move this pocket to the sides, you can move it to the other end, you can move it pretty much wherever you want and just snap it into place with these uh, little clips, which is really nice, but the pocket itself is also clear so you can kind of see what is inside of there. Inside of the pocket, you've got two little separator bags. So if you had, you know, say your keys and your wallet and you wanted to throw that in there, and maybe the rest of your stuff in the front, you could do that. This thing is waterproof. Uh, this clip works really well too. Basically, you just slide this from the bottom up into place and then that keeps it sealed shut so that nothing can get in. Um, but again, built with this really nice high quality material so that you know that your stuff's gonna be protected and safe inside there. All right, so our kind of for our final sort of Rux thing here, we are going to talk a little bit about this clear 70 liter collapsible bin. Again, they have a lot of really nice design features built in here. So I will link to all these products down below if you want to go check out all the full details. Again, just kind of want to give you a hands-on experience so you could see how they operate and kind of the, the fit and finish of them. But so these, these lids, this is how my other 70 liter functions. They almost have like a bit of elasticity in them. So you kind of pull them down over the corners and they, they latch down sort of over the lip of the bin. And that's what keeps the dust out, the rain out. They, they say not to submerge it. They call it waterproof or weatherproof. Uh, but what they mean by that is, you know, again, I've set this in the back of my truck. I've got no dust, no water, no nothing inside of it. They don't recommend submerging it or anything like that. But for like weather and things like that, it should be fine. But when you kind of pull these up, the lid itself is actually really nice because it's kind of has these little bends in it. So you can actually sort of collapse it down so that it gets way smaller. So if you wanted to store this somewhere, you know, you can make it a lot smaller. So because of the collapsible nature of this bag, it makes a ton of sense for that to be the case. Um, another thing that I've seen people use this as is they'll set this with this sort of the waterproof side down and then use this as like a place to stand. So let's say that you were out kayaking or surfboarding or something like that. And you had your dry clothes in this bag, you could come back open up the bag to get your, your dry clothes, and then you could stand on this as a clean surface to kind of keep your feet dry and clean while you change your clothes, things like that. So I've seen people do that. That's just kind of a cool tip. Um, obviously, it's got this little clear thing in here, so you could put some sort of a card or something if you were traveling with this and you wanted to identify it as your bag. You could do that. It does come with a couple of shoulder straps. You can actually wear this thing kind of like a backpack. Again, it uses their proprietary clipping system. So you can just clip this into the end pieces, the rail system. And then you have basically kind of like two backpack straps if you want to carry it that way. But if you didn't want to carry it as a backpack, they do come with these really nice heavy duty straps. And I mean, I've carried a ton of weight in my 70 liter with these straps. They are very, very strong. So you've got that option. You've got another clear thing here that you can put in, again, an identifying piece. It's got this molly webbing stuff for a attaching things down here. This is their proprietary rail system up here, which again, allows you to just clip pockets and all kinds of things. It allows you to click your lid on, down on it so that that's not gonna come up. As you can see on the sides here, there are also these straps where you can uh, put a strap up over your lid and then strap this down so that lid can't come off. It'll actually hold it on. I do that most of the time because if I'm gonna throw this in the back of the truck, it's gonna be you know, in the wind and things like that in my open bed. And I don't wanna take the chance that that lid might blow off and my stuff might either get damaged or blown out of the bag. So you can strap it just for extra security, which is a really, really nice feature. Um, looking inside the bag, again, 70 liters is huge, right? There's just a ton of space in here. Um, but the thing that makes this really cool and really unique is again, this is a collapsible bin. And the way they do that is in the corners here, when you actually get it, these are not installed. You do have to slide these in and they can be a little bit tricky, but it, once you kind of start to slide it up into the corners, you'll see that it's not too bad. Um, but these are basically like slap bracelets is what I like to call them. If you remember those things from back in the day, the slap bracelets that you could slap on your wrist, that's basically what these are. They're kind of semi-rigid, but they have a slight sort of C curve to them. So but when they're in that corner and they are, you know, sticking straight up and down, they're rigid, which gives it strength, makes it into a box basically. But then when you want to collapse it, you basically just push in on the corners and they collapse just like a slap bracelet. So then, Again, when this is not in use, you could collapse this thing down to just a fraction of its normal height and size. And then you could put the lid on it and you could store this away in the back seat of your car, in a drawer system and something like that. Um, then when you need it, you just pull up on it, make sure that they all clip in. And then when they do, then they become rigid again and then you've got a box. So like, again, if you're looking at these versus like a Rome case or something rigid, if it's something you're gonna bolt to the outside of your vehicle, obviously a rigid case may make more sense. 
But if it's something that you're going to use to sort of transfer goods or your gear from the inside of your house to the outside of your house, and when you're not using it, you want to be able to fold these down and put them, say, up on a shelf or something, this may be a great option because of the, the portability and the adjustability of this system. And again, then if you're running a 70 liter bag like this and you have their coolers, those use a lot of the same stuff. You can use your pockets with them. So there's just a lot of crossover between their products. So if you kind of get into the Rux infrastructure a little bit, then it's kind of going to want to make you have more Rux stuff. And that's kind of where I'm at, where now I'm getting more and more Rux stuff because it's so high quality, so nice, and I use it all the time. All right, guys, so that will do it for the Rux coolers and the clear 70 liter plus the pocket. Again, I hope that was good info for you. I hope that kind of gave you sort of a hands-on feel for what this gear is like. While it is pricey, it is extremely great quality stuff that will last for a really long time. Again, I've had my black 70 liter for several years now, use it every single trip, throw it in the back of the truck. It's been snowed on, rained on, all that stuff, dust, everything else. It keeps my clothes clean and dry and protected. And it just makes uh, having a collapsible bag that takes up a lot less room than a rigid, you know, sort of like Plano crate or a Rome box or something like that, which if you're looking at something like a Rome box, that is in the same realm price-wise as a lot of this Rux stuff. So it's very comparable on the market price-wise to a lot of that higher, you know, priced name brand stuff. So again, definitely a consideration if you're looking for some high quality, really well made coolers or collapsible bags. In the description down below will be links to all my social channels. So wherever you want to come hang out, I'd love to have you. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Uh, there's also a link to my website where I've got funny camping overlanding themed patches and stickers. So if you're looking for anything like that to slap on the headliner or your rig or put on your fridge or your windows, uh, check those out. There's a ton of funny stuff in there like a hot dog that says don't burn your wiener, that kind of thing. Uh, there's also a button below this video that says join. That is just sort of a nice passive way to support the channel if you want to you know get early access to the video and a couple of other perks that is an easy way to do it then there's also a link to my patreon group where we've got a 24 7 discord we all kind of chat about our rigs and our gear and uh, we, we're gonna have a couple trips every year and we also do a monthly zoom call just to kind of hang out have a beer talk about overlanding camping that sort of thing talk about gear ask questions and it's a ton of fun and then last but not least there is a link to the newbie overlanders facebook page totally free to join awesome awesome people in there no bullying like you're going to find in the bigger group so if you're looking for something like that definitely check that out as well um, but again thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time